but it's time now for Uncancelled. And this is where Britain's top commentators speak out on controversial issues without the fear of the cancel culture sweeping the rest of the media. Now, two years ago, Black Lives Matter had most of the world so hoodwinked with its divisive propaganda that even repeating the fact it's an organisation based on Marxist principles had you labelled a racist and, in some cases, cancelled. One man who felt the vengeful wrath of the BLM Brigade was charity CEO Nick Buckley, who was sacked from the youth and homeless charity he founded. That was a Manchester of highlighting the group's own mission statement that it wants to defund the police and bring down capitalism. Now, though, Nick is saying, I told you so, and demanding not just an apology, but an explanation too, after his misgivings about the motivations of BLM were seemingly justified by questionable new tax filings. They show BLM founder Patrice Cullors paid friends and family millions of pounds using charity funds, including the equivalent of nearly £800,000 to the father of her child for creative services. Quote, Cullors quit BLM last year after it was revealed she spent a staggering £5 million in a lavish home in Los Angeles using donation money and miraculously built up her own property portfolio. Nick, great to have you uncancelled. You were, of course, called a Nazi on social media for daring to question the cult-like BLM movement, but you must be feeling vindicated now, Nick. I felt vindicated for well over a year now. I think the gloss has been off BLM for a long, a long time now, especially in this country. You know, last year we had the scandal of Black Mansions matter when Colours bought four expensive houses. And this last couple of weeks we've got their tax returns which shows where they've been spending their money. And I'm not saying they've done anything wrong, because I don't know anything about the American tax and charity sector, but just looking at what they've spent the money on just doesn't feel right and doesn't look right if you've been giving them money. But it certainly shows, Nick, that folk like you were completely correct to at least question the organisation. As you say, they proudly trumpeted the fact that they were Marxist and wanted to defund the police and overthrow capitalism. Of course, we now know they want to overthrow capitalism unless it means taking tens of millions of pounds from stupid folk who want to donate to them. But, Nick, I think there's a more fundamental point here, isn't there, which is that when we're in the midst of one of these social hysterias, which happen quite often these days because of a social movement, how do we ensure that people like you who propagate critical thinking aren't cancelled? There's a great organisation called Free Speech Union. Oh, I love and it was them that, that got me my job back. Um, even though I was sacked... It took five weeks for me to get my job back, and then we forced the board to resign in disgrace. Because it, they were disgraceful, they were cowards. They didn't believe in Black Lives Matter. They just believed in themselves, that like they didn't want any of the, any of the hassle. Yes. So let's give the mob Nick, and then we'll be safe. But that's but the key forgot. issue, isn't it, Nick? Yeah. It, that is the key issue, because it's not just charities. It's also big corporations, small businesses, schools... Uh, loads of like sporting organisations that, that they just want to avoid the social media mob, regardless of the truth. And people have to start standing up for that. They do. And we need We're to start holding to some of these organisations to account. You know, we need to revisit some of these now. And we need to say to the Premier League, why are your footballers still taking the knee? We need to look at the trustees who sacked me and say, what was going on? Why Why did you do that? Why were you such cowards? Unless we go back now and start speaking to these people, they all would have got away with it, which then leads the next generation to realise, I can be a coward when it suits me and I'll get away with it. And we need to hold people to account because it was appalling what happened in 2020. It was. It, it felt like a revolution was coming and everybody was looking after themselves. Indeed. And we should always be able to question social movements. We should always be able to question organisations. I mean, look at what Black Lives Matter were doing. They were literally taking in tens of millions of pounds to spend on luxury mansions. And they were able to do that because no one in the media felt able to ask the... And by the way, Nick, I always point this out, but GB News wasn't around then because, of course, we would be doing it. But so few people in the media were prepared to ask questions about this organisation. 
Yeah, two quick points. The first point is, why is every famous communist, Marxist and socialist a millionaire? So <laughs> yeah. that rings bells with me straight away. And a bit of a concern, point, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's always true though, isn't it? You've got Bernie yeah. Sanders and some of the American oh, yeah. politicians, those three ladies there are all millionaires, but yet they claim to be working for the poor. Yeah. It's easy to be a commie when you're a millionaire, Nick, isn't it? Not easy. And the second, what made me speak out really about Black Lives Matter was not that they were Marxists, because I don't care, because you should be able to be a Marxist and put your points across. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. It was when I went onto their website and I read they wanted to disrupt the nuclear family, which means to get rid of more men and fathers out of the home. That was when I went, That I've had enough with that, because our number one problem in our country Indeed. is a lack of fathers in the home. And if we've well, got Nick, an organisation spouting that, that's just going to damage everything even more. Well, Nick, you've been proven right. So well done for speaking up at the time and we'll keep in touch. Nick Buckley, MBE, thank you so much. Of course, both sides of the argument here on GB News and BLM say that despite assertions otherwise, an independent audit has revealed that Black Lives Matter finances are strong. The organisation is financially sound and its leaders have been good stewards of the people's donation. They add it recognises that there is more work to be done to increase transparency. Yeah.